In this lesson, we're going to continue the idea of magic numbers and conversion factors, but we're going to take a look at liquid conversions. So it's the same process, but the numbers are different. Simply put, instead of 12 and 3 and 1760 and 5280, like in inches, feet, yards, and miles, it's now different. I have a different set of magic numbers to work with. Liquid conversions is what we buy at the store. If I want to buy a gallon of iced tea, I buy a gallon. If I want to buy a small iced tea, which is a pint, I buy that. If I want a half gallon of chocolate milk, all of that. If I get a cup at a picnic and drink that, that's another measurement. What we're, the easiest way to take a look at that is a visual called the gallon man. A lot of you have seen this before uh, in elementary. My biggest measurement is one gallon. Inside the gallon, I have four quarts. Now this should make sense because we have four quarters in a dollar. Four quarts in a gallon. That's what the name means. Quart, quartering. To split something into four pieces. Four quarts. Uh, up next is pints. Two pints in every quart. Two pints in every quart. Inside each pint, two cups. C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C. If I wanted a visual of it across. I would have cups, I would have pints, I would have quarts, and I would have gallons. Magic numbers in between. Well, let's go high to low. How many quarts are in one gallon? How many quarts are in one gallon? Four. How many pints are in a quart? How many peas are in every cube? Two. How many cups are in every pint? Two. So it becomes simple. Four, two, two. Let's double check our rule as far as multiplying our conversions. How many cups are in one gallon? You could count all the C's up. One, two, three, four if you want. Or you could take four times two times two. Four times two is eight times two is sixteen. There are sixteen little red C's. One, two, three, four. Four groups of four is 16. I could figure out how many pints are in a gallon. Four times two is eight. So again, it can still be used. So let's take a look at an addition problem. Magic numbers need to be filled in. Cups and pints, two. Pints and quarts, two. Quarts and gallons, four. Let's do our addition. Same concept applies. If I get the magic number, carry it over. If I get the magic number, carry it over. If I get the magic number, carry it over. 7 plus 3 is 10. You can write it if you want. I'm going to try to pull this off in my head. 7 plus 3 is 10. How many groups of 2 can I pull out of 10? I can carry over 5 groups. 5 times 2 is 10. I'm left with 0 cups. This column, 7 plus 5 is 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15 pints. How many groups of 2 of, can I pull out of 15? 7. 7 times 2 is 14. That means I'm left with 1 pint. 18 plus 7. Uh, 2 gets me 20 and 5, 25. Right? I hope. 18, 19, 20. And 5, 25. 25, how many groups of 4 can I pull out of 25? Well, 6 times 4 is 24. So I can pull 6 groups out. I had 25, 6 groups of 4 is 24. I'm left with 1. 1 quart. 11, 5 and 6 give me 11, 12. 2, 3, 4, 42 gallons. I think I did all my adding right. 
These are my magic numbers. Again, carry, 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 carry. Subtraction would be the same way. If I didn't have enough, I would borrow back four, borrow back two, borrow back two more. Gallon man. Big G, four Q's, eight P's, 16 C's. That's it.